so we will be doing this painting so for do for doing this painting step one will be we'll be making the sky and then we will draw draw the forms and then start painting with a black color so how we are going to do the sky one thing to note is i'm taking this brush which is flat brush and the number is 11 but um, you can take any round brush as well and when i'm taking the color i'll make sure that i use like a lot of water you can see the water is dripping right so go around with this movement the color should be really thick and to make that you have to move it like around like 15 times the round should be for 15 times so that the color is even and it's thick enough and then we will start painting the bottom part which will be like this flat 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 see how nicely okay and then at the top we'll make sure that we keep little bit of water so directly dipping it in the water and then letting this go like this and the reason we are doing it is because we want to blend it with this uh, orange color here okay so how are we going to now blend it we'll take more of yellow because i feel that there is less yellow over here we'll just try to and the movement you can see is horizontal so you have to take keep the brush like this all right okay so one color is done now we'll take little bit of water and then dip this only in the orange and again do the same movement this time it should be less movement because we want to blend it so we don't want we want more of water and less of color so here i'm gonna take it like this all right so this is the way i've taken it we'll have to do darker shade afterwards but how will we blend this part with the yellow what we are going to do is wash this off thoroughly take the wet towel paper towel dab it properly and then with that just try to move your brush slowly where there is you know uh, very like between both so this, can you see this whole thing have blended really nicely now we want to create a little bit of darker effect how will we do that again add a little bit of water here okay. and we'll add the orange color again all right Again, go in this same so the, make sure that the direction of your brush if even if it's round brush suppose if it's round brush still you have to take it in this direction which is horizontal way okay so again we are taking more of color so that we can blend and add little bit of brightness in the painting all right here you go. We need a little bit of patience to blend this. Again, five off. Now let's move on to another color. Alright. Let's move to red color now. Again take it, take the color in the same way. 
move around like a lot of times and again blend the first color here another one again in this direction okay the so first one we are blending with the orange color then taking this up There is no water, so I'm adding more water and then moving this around to get the color. Alright, so I think the red patch is also done. Again, who's gonna tell me what I need to do to blend these two colors like orange and pink? And wash off completely and then dab it here after that with a light hand I will mix and merge this whoa see how beautiful it has mixed up now all right all of these are mixed again put little bit of water here because we don't want this color to dry off so that we can blend and mix the next shade. Another shade is purple color. So now we will take the purple directly. Again, take it in the same way. Move it around the clockwise and then anti-clockwise. After that, we'll use it like this. We'll make sure that the purple is less as opposed to any other color because we don't want the dark purple to overpower to make our painting look beautiful so you might feel that the paper is going a little bit round in this case but don't worry once it is dry it will be straight i'll tell you the technique how to do that and now what i want is i want to blend this with the red but the purple is very bright so we'll clean this off then take the red color Let's take more of red color because it was wet I am able to mix and merge this two color Now, I'm just trying to dry. So, whenever I'm doing this, I'm basically drying my brush, and when I say drying, it's dry watercolor technique because that helps in mixing and merging to make the sky smoother and now here you can see like little bit of patches and then then uh, there is more less of mixing i feel there is less of red we still need to blend in we'll take more of red So once the sky is done, you will feel that the paper is still wet. The ideal situation is like once uh, this is completely dry, we can make the black and and the and it will turn out good actually. So uh, to do that, we can what we can do is. So now we'll be making the forms. How are we going to do that? So for trees, what we need to do is just make like straight line, something like this, till here. 
which is almost half you would say i would say and then again another one from here oops i had some color here but it's okay we'll cover this so if there is some mistake you can even cover things basic random lines I'm making currently and then I'll show you how to make it with the brush directly okay here how are we going to make so I want to first uh, um, blend this because I feel it's not looking good and Once we wipe it, we'll, yeah, it's dry. So now, how are we going to draw this one? For this, remember, you have to first make the stomach, which is oval shape. Okay, so first create an oval shape, something like this. Okay. Once you have created this, you have to first do C. Okay, so let's do smaller C, which is like this. And then we'll make a bigger C, something like this. And after that, we'll be making face, which will be almost like a square and then one triangle okay just this shape after that see this point and from this point the legs will start so right now we'll be making just four simple legs Okay. this one it will have ears here so for this one probably you'll have to use the eraser to erase few things to make the shape perfect it's just a shape to give you an idea um, now as you can see here We'll start the ear from this part. So, one ear in the shape of leaf goes here. Okay. And this is the head part. Another one goes like this. Right. After that, you can see the tip of, of this triangle, right? So, that is going to be the nose. So, what we are going to do is do this okay this is the tip of the nose and here we'll have this one that's gonna make this easy right and this part we need to make it straight so just draw a straight line from here to here so this is going to be one straight line almost straight not exactly straight but let's erase this part okay and now we'll be making and now here it's C but we will reduce the level of C to this C erase this after this Let's see, we'll be making quite a bit of bumps. Again, this is the bump. Humps in this. Okay. Now, quite a bit uh, size wise. Okay. Add 
it to this part and this is the tail from here here again you have to make like a small C shape this is the fourth leg and this is another leg let's start this leg from here actually Sounds perfect. All right, now let's erase all of these. Okay, let's see how this goes now. Not that big deep, but a little bit of. So here we have made this hole done with the shape the tear now okay now for the trees we don't have to make the tree like exactly same it's very easy just take the three number brush and we will make lines here with this thick and then it goes thin
so you can see the direction it doesn't need to be exactly same just make sure like the tip needs to be thinner so as you can see here the thick the tip is thick so what I'm gonna do is take it till I can make it thinner and because every tree is different um, the one you will see in my previous painting will be different than this one um, but just be free in making the branches the way you like 